Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. Manchester United 2, Dortmund 3. Where do I start? Where do I start in this game? I mean, we we played decently in the first half. We played decently in the first half, but somehow, somehow we finished that half losing 2-1. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. And this game had a lot of goals in it, which was which was exciting for the neutral fan, but for Manchester United, of course, Dalot scored an outstanding goal in this match. And, and and Anthony also got on the score sheet. But Dortmund ultimately won this game. And they, they've basically capitalized on the mistakes that we have made in this match. We we messed up big time. We messed up big time. This is this is the team that has started the first half. As you can see, Tom Heaton started in goal. This is pretty much the bench. Pretty much the bench started the first half usually eric ten Hag has shown us that he, he he go with with the strongest lineup in the first half but this time we did start with the bench yes there is harry Maguire there yes there is lindelof there which i thought those two just did not have a good night they just did not have a good night in this game the two goals that we've conceded in this match one of them is lindelof at fault basically trying to play out from the back and he he just got dispossessed i think he He's trying to pass it to, uh, I, I can't remember who it was, but he's trying to pass it to somebody and somebody and basically it got inter intercepted and they, they scored. Ridiculous, ridiculous. And that first half also, Harry Maguire hits, hits the post. When I say hits the post, I'm not talking about trying to score. I'm talking about he was nearly put the ball in in our net. So it's just absolutely i mean absolutely ugly ugly performance by manchester united uh that defense yes we know they're not going to start games when the season starts yes we know williams lindelof harry Maguire, and tom he didn't go they're not going to start when the season starts but our bench is not good our bench is not good we're gonna have to rely on the starting 11 because this this pretty much supposed to be the bench for manchester united Tomini in the middle of the park hasn't done nothing really throughout the entire match. Eriksen is just getting old. The more I see Eriksen, the more I see how old he is. Pretty much, he's just struggling now for pace, and he just doesn't look right. He just doesn't look right. Uh, Dalot, right back position, a solid performance. I think not just for the goal, but defensively, I thought he was good. I thought he was good, and a stunning finish, a lovely finish. A uh, goal by Dalot. Uh, and it's, it's going to be interesting to see the competition between Dalot and Wambasaka. Really, that is going to be an interesting factor. Uh, Williams on the left back position. I don't think I don't think he has a chance if Melasia returns. I don't think he has a chance. He can't even be the number two. He might get loaned out. That's what I think is going to happen. But I did spoke a little bit about McTominay and Erickson. Yeah, that was. That was their performance. I just didn't like it. I did not like it at all. McTominay was the captain for the team, but just just toothless. I mean, he just didn't do anything in that match. I don't I don't remember anything from McTominay in that match. Uh, Pelstry on the left. Okay, for me, if you ask me, man of the match, it would be Pelstry. Pelistri, Pelstry, how, however you want to say his name. I mean, this guy was absolutely outstanding in that first half, taking on players, taking on defenders. He was a pain. He was a pain for Dortmund. They just couldn't handle him. Yes, I know he didn't score or assisted in this game, but it was a very good performance by Pel uh, Pelistri. And I think we should keep him. I don't think we should loan him out. I think we should keep him. And I definitely think that he's going to be a good uh, a squad player for Manchester United in the coming in the coming season. Uh, Donny van der Beek got two assists. I think he got two assists. Uh, Dalo's first goal came from Donny van der Beek's uh, pass. I wouldn't call that an assist. I mean, Dalo took a shot from outside the box, but yes, automatically, if you're just purely looking at the stats, yes, Donny van der Beek has a, an assist. And also involved in the second goal as well. He was trying to control the ball, and Anthony, uh, Anthony scores that second goal for Manchester United. Forson. Feel bad for the kid. I don't know why Eric Ten Hag took him off. I think maybe he was fighting. Uh, and Eric Ten Hag didn't like the fact that he was fighting with somebody. And he took him off around 35 minutes. So I just don't know what that is about. 
maybe Eric Ten Hag can, uh, could, could actually come out and t- tell us exactly what, what happened there. But his performance was okay as well. Not impressed. Not impressed. He's not good with his right foot. He had a couple of decent chances in the first half. He didn't take it. Uh, and yeah. Jaden Sancho, we need to stop this. I think we definitely need to stop this. I mean, Jaden Sancho was not a number nine people. And Eric Ten Hag keeps playing him as a number nine. I just can't wait for the, our main striker, Rasmus Hoyland, uh, to stop playing for Manchester United because Sancho is not a nine. You can clearly see it. He just huffs and puffs, but he's not a number nine. He's a wide player or at best, he's a number 10. He's never a nine. So I need that to stop. And I didn't see anything from from Jaden Sancho as well in the first half, nor the second half. So pretty average performance from across the board, really. I think Pelistri and maybe Donny van de Vick had half decent game, but the rest of them just did not do well at all. Uh, let me just quickly wrap up uh, the bench here. So the entire bench pretty much was strong. The likes of Bruno Fernandes, Casemiro, uh, Lissandro Martinez, Juan Basaka, Rashford, Mason Mount, all of these players came on in the second half and we thought that we were going to see goals from Manchester United, but we didn't see that much. We didn't see that much. I mean, Rashford, he looks really threatening when he plays uh, down the left and he was used down the left in this game, had a couple of decent chances. He just didn't take them, uh, but he looked dangerous. He looked dangerous, but all of our players, for some reason, they just they just don't look sharp. If you if you look at our game, our level just dropped. If you look at the game that we played against Arsenal, I just did not see that here. Not because we lost the game, but it's just the performance just wasn't there for me. Luke Shaw, again, average performance. Uh, Bruno Fernandez huffed and puffed. Nothing really much there. Uh, everybody, everybody, Mesa Mount. Um. I'm a bit concerned now about Mason Mount, guys. I'm a bit concerned about Mason Mount because not once this guy came in and impressed me. Not once. I have not been impressed by Mason Mount. I'm telling you, like, this guy, he played four games now, four or five games, no assist, no goals, and no threats whatsoever. It's time to get worried, guys. It's time to get worried, but I'll just give him a couple of games in the Premier League. He needs to play right and he needs to perform, guys. He definitely needs to perform. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble, guys. We are going to be in trouble. But at the end of the day, it is a friendly match and we did lose two games in a row. So Eric Ten Hag need to, need to do the right things now. Uh, we have a couple of games coming up. We need to make, make sure that we win those games and we get that momentum going into the, uh, into the Premier League. But yeah, people... That is my match reaction. Thank you for watching, guys. Do let me know in the comment sections who you think is your man of the match, who impresses you uh, or impressed you the most in this game. Do let me know in the comment sections. Thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.